In this video, let's see problems based on test of significance for different proportions. See this problem. One type of aircraft is found to develop engine trouble in 5 flights out of the total of 100. So, uh, out of 100 flights, 5 flights are having engine trouble. Okay. So, and then the second type has 7 out of 200. Okay. So, they have given N1, N2. That you keep it in mind. So, is there a significant difference? When they ask, is there a significant difference? It means, how you will frame the null hypothesis? That you think about it. Is there a significant difference in the two types of aircrafts so far? as engine defects are concerned. So, by keeping those engine defects in mind, they are asking is there a significant difference in two types of aircrafts. Okay. So, first uh, we will fix null hypothesis because they are asking is there a big difference, significant difference. So, I am saying there is no significant difference. Always we have to frame the null hypothesis like that. There is no significant difference. So, now you remember in the previous video, I told you how to identify whether it is a one-tail test or two-tail test. Again, I am asking you the question, is this a one-tail test or two-tail test? So, when I am saying there is no means they are almost equal. Whenever the word equal comes, then you will go for a two-tail test and not the one-tail test. So, Please keep this in mind. There is a difference between mean or difference between proportion if they ask always go for a two-tail test. Okay. So, I am saying that there is no significant difference. So, now I am writing P1 and P2 be the proportion of defects in two types of aircraft. For the first type, I will write it as P1 and for the second type, I will write it as P2. So, what is the first uh, type? 5 flights out of 100. So, I will write it as P1 is equal to 5 flights out of 100 and this is nothing but 0 0.05 and P2 is 7 flights out of 200. So, I will write it as 0 0.035. Okay. So, now H0 I fixed. What is P1? What is P2? Everything is fixed. What is N1? 100. So, first set of 100 I am writing and N2 is 200 flights are there. So, I have written N1 and N2. Now, the formula is Z is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by root of PQ into root of PQ into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. This is what I have to write. Okay. Now, what is this P? This P is nothing but N1 P1 plus N2 P2 divided by N1 plus N2. Okay. So, N1 into P1 means automatically when you multiply this, let me write what is P. P is equal to N1 is 100, P1 is 5 out of 100. Automatically this and this will get cancelled plus N2 is uh, 200 and P2 is uh, 7 out of uh, 200. Automatically this and this will get cancelled divided by N1 plus N2. So, this is 5 plus 7 which is nothing but 12 divided by 300 which is nothing but 0 0.04. So, we are done with P. Now, finally, you have to substitute all the values in Z. Z is equal to P1 is 0 0.05 minus P2 is 0 0.035 divided by root of P is 0 0.04. When P is 0 0.04, what is Q? Q is always 1 minus P, that is 1 minus 0 0.04, which is nothing but 0 0.96. So, you are going to write Q as 0 0.96. We will extend the square root. PQ only we have written. 1 by N1 is 100. N plus 1 by N2 is 200. So, we are done with the substitution. Now, you have to calculate and find out this value and this happened to be 0 
Now what test I have decided? I fix a null hypothesis. I, have, I decided that I am going for a two tail because I said there is no significant difference. So what are the values I have to compare for two tail? Um, they didn't mention any level. So let me compare for both the levels. Okay. So z is equal to 0 0.625 and this value is less than 1.96 at 5% significance level okay so if it is less than means what we will do we will accept okay let me see for the other one so z is 0 0.625 again it is less than 2.58 at 1 percent significance level so since both the things are less than if it is less than means it is in the accepted region so null hypothesis is accepted always hypothesis Accepted means it's a null hypothesis only I'm talking about. Null hypothesis is accepted 5% and 1% level of significance. Level of significance. So either if you write, uh, you write the null hypothesis is accepted or you can conclude that there is no significant difference. So if you want to write to conclude. I can conclude that, write the statement of H0, there is no significant difference. So this is one example for the proportion. Sometimes they will give in percentage. So let us see one example for this. In a city A, 20% of the random sample of 900 schoolboys had a certain slight physical defect. In another city B, 18.5% of random sample of 1600 schoolboys had the same defect. Is there a difference between the significance uh, proportions are significant at 5% significance level? So they are asking is there a difference? So how to frame the null hypothesis that the difference is not significant? There is no significant difference. So I am saying when there is no significant difference means Almost they are equal. Whenever the word equal comes, then we are going to compare with two tail test. And what person they have given? For 5%. For 5%, five, 5 what is the value I have to compare with? 1.96 only I have to compare with for 5%. So this is for our understanding. When I write the null hypothesis, then we will decide what test it is and what value I am going to check with. And uh, now, what is N1? In city A, um, how many? 900. N1 is 900. N2 is 1600. Because uh, 900, N1 and N2 is 1600. Therefore, P1 is equal to. Uh, so, what is the proportion they have given? Uh, as I told you, they have given in percentage. So, they have given 20 percentage. So, this is nothing but 20 by 100. And which is nothing but 1 by 5. And P2 is 18.5%, uh, right? So, 18.5 by 100. So, we have got two values, P1 and P2. So, now let it be 20 by 100 itself and 18.5 by 100 because it is easy for us to calculate uh, P, which is formula is the same as the previous one. N1 P1 plus N2 P2 by N1 plus N2. So, when I multiply with uh, these values, that is uh, N1 is 900 into P1 is 20 by 100 plus N2 is 1600 into P2 is 18.5 by 100. We can simplify of course. Okay. So, divided by oh my god n1 plus n2. n1 is um, 900 and n2 is 1600. So now the numerator when we simplify this and this will get cancelled. That is why I said no need to simplify this and then 9 twos are 18. So 180. If you simplify this and calculate you will get p as 0 0.19. Once you got P, Q is nothing but 1 minus P, 1 minus 0 0.19, that's equal to 0 0.81. So we have got P, we have got Q, 
So what we have to do? Z is P1 minus P2 by root of same formula PQ into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. Only difference between the first and the second one is square root is for everything. They have given in percentage. That's it. 18.5 percentage. So it is 18.5 by 100. That's it. And uh, this you have to substitute what is P1, P2 and everything. So after substitution, because we have calculated only P. So P1 is uh, 20 by 100 minus P2 is 18.5 by 100 divided by root of PQ. P is 0 0.19. Q is just now we have calculated 0 0.81 into 1 by N1 is 900 plus N2 is 1 by 1600. Square root is for everything. So this value we have to calculate and this is supposed to be 0.37 and now you are going to compare it with the value. So now this 0.37 is less than 1.96, 5% significance level. So what you will do? If it is less than, then we are accepting the hypothesis. So that's it. So when you write, you can write Z at 0 0.05 also you can write. That is this uh, 1.96 value. So if it is uh, less than, we will accept the hypothesis. So what is the hypothesis? That there is no difference. There is no significant difference. So whenever there is a difference between a proportion or difference between the mean, then we will go for a two-tail test. And you just check what is given in the question. Here they clearly mention 5%. If not, compare the values at both 5% and 1%. Thank you.